Hello and welcome to the weather briefing for the week of April 22nd, 2024. This is meteorologist Stephanie Sullivan with the National Weather Service in San Diego, California. So what do we have in store for this week? It looks like we'll be reverting to our more winter-like weather. We'll have some drizzle for the coastal areas and valleys tonight into Tuesday morning with additional chances of precipitations, mainly for areas west of the mountains Thursday and Friday. We'll have gusty west to southwest winds in the mountains and deserts at times, and we'll see below normal high temperatures. As far as precipitation is concerned, there'll be potential for slick roads during the morning commute Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Little if any accumulation is expected with the drizzle tonight into Tuesday. For the Thursday and Friday timeframes, there's low confidence in rainfall amounts during this period, but most likely anything that we get would be light, generally less than a tenth of an inch or so. Moving on to the wind, there'll be some gusty southwest to west winds in the mountains and deserts with gusts around 40 to 50 miles an hour in those wind prone passes, desert slopes and adjacent desert foothills. There could be some isolated gusts to around 60 miles an hour, especially through the San Gregonio Pass along I-10 and along I-8 once you head into Imperial County. Winds will be strongest Wednesday evening and weakened a little bit for Thursday and then weaken even more on Friday. As mentioned before, it'll be pretty cool through much of the work week. We're expecting Thursday to be the coldest day of the week with highs anywhere from 5 to around 15 degrees below normal. And after that, we'll actually see kind of the opposite of what we've been experiencing where it'll actually warm up and dry out for the weekend instead of being cold and rainy. So got that to look forward to. That's all we have for this week. As always, stay tuned to weather.gov slash San Diego or our social media channels on Facebook and Twitter for the latest forecast updates.